Okay, I hope you guys are all doing well today. I have uh here. Who you are and how a person can separate, be separated from God and not realize it. You are a spirit being in a body with a mind, will, and emotion. These three parts, the mind, the will, and the emotions make, make up your human soul. When Jesus is Savior in your life, the true you, the spirit man, expresses itself through the soul into the world with world around you. Therefore, when all things itself through the soul into the world around you, therefore, when all things are in their correct God-given order, then God in our spirit being moves through our soul via his Holy Spirit, expressing his, himself to the world through us, making known his presence, his love, and his ways. However, if Jesus is not Savior and Lord in your life, then whatever thought pops up, tends to rule and express itself, directing your life. For example, let's take a light bulb with no electricity. It may be good and functional. It may exist, but it does not shine forth shedding light. Now, if that light bulb was a human being, not having experienced God, it would not know what it is missing. Thinking life is okay. Thinking this is life just the way it ought to be. You know, in life, light bulbs, when placed in a light socket, brings forth light, else it's, it is thrown away. I thank God he did ca didn't cast me out or throw me away. God saw me in my state of need and made, made a way for me through his son, Jesus Christ. God wants to come into your life like electricity to a light bulb that is not perfect. No love you. Uh, that is not perfect to love you and get you connected to him. He wants to shine in us and through us in a dark, darkened, blinded and ignorant, blinded and ignorant of God and dying world that truly needs him. The only thing we have to do is make the right choice. Deuteronomy 30, 19, Joel 3, 14 to come to him, repent Showing true regrets of sin and being away from him, acknowledge we need him and ask his son, Jesus Christ, into our hearts, which will allow that connection in our lives. Then we will start to shine with God's life and light. The spirit man, the spirit of man is the counter of the Lord, searching all inward parts of the belly. Proverbs twenty twenty seven. What do candles do? Light like light bulbs? They are meant to bring light to the room they are in. Light, in this case, bring revelation of what is in the room and understanding can then take place. Just like a light being turned on in a darkened place, you will then see and understand exactly what is before you concerning God and this world. Ignorance, darkness, flees when God's light come in. Okay, guys, God wants you to have a clear vision for for your life. He wants to reveal to you what your gifts and talents are and show you how to best develop them and use them for his glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, guys, um, I wanted to see how is the divine film feeling towards the masculine and the karmics? In all of this situation, how is how is she feeling? How is Divine Fem feeling in regarding all this chaos, this madness? Father God, if you could just come in and give us a clear energy read on how the Divine Fem is feeling towards all of this that have occurred with the masculine, the karmics, the how is divine film feeling 
and what will take place. How is she feeling in regarding all of this that have occurred here? Um, and overall energy bottom of the deck healing it came out in reverse so I'm going to keep it like that Um, she's feeling like that some of these divine films have healed you know to the point to where you know they might have other little nicks and nacks that God needs to bring up to heal that's to do with self. But what I'm getting here is a lot of these divine femmes have healed. They went through through darkness to get to light. And now they're in a better space and place. And they're not even focusing too much on this aspect. Okay, the full card, Angel of Innocence. They're feeling some of these divine films is feeling like they was innocent to this whole situation that they have been a fool for some of the things they were doing and some of the things how they were acting that it was foolish is what I'm getting here. Then five of ones, they see this as a test that God was giving them a test to get back to him. And love him and love themselves. Then King of Swords decisions uh, could be an air sign. Some of these divine films are feeling like they're making decisions on if they want to keep this connection or just move on and just focus on God and themselves now. Because this has been a great lesson learned and, you know, um, they have learned a lot on this journey about relationships, how, you know, people, unbelievable people can treat you and so forth. And so they're really focusing and moving on and they're making decisions now. Knight of Wands actions. Um, a lot of these divine films are taking action and moving towards their goals and their careers. And they're really focused on God and their spirit, spirituality, their spirituality. And, you know, they're really focusing on, you know, everything that have to do that's involved with them and getting themselves right and in right standings. And they're taking action in that right now. And then the chariot, angel of guidance, um, some of them could be wanting to travel for work or start a new beginning and travel towards something else. Um lovers angel of commitment some of them they are you know they still see this connection as their lover and one and they're committed you know to this connection but you know they're not putting up with a lot anymore you know lovers is still in there but you know a judgment call came here after lovers or whatever so you know, some of them, they're deciding, you know, they love this particular uh, divine masculine and, you know, they're still, you know, reflecting on the connection. But, you know, a judgment call have came to where, you know, it's boosting and pushing divine films on into leadership. King of Wands here, leadership, they are, you know, focusing on being more of a leader pursuing their dreams, you know, could be, you know, jobs and careers or, you know, things that, you know, they're taking the lead now. Ten of Cups home. A lot of the divine films have went back home to God and, you know, they're feeling in a place of being at home. You know, some of them still are healing some of them you know it depends on where you're at in the journey everyone is not going to resonate with this so you know i don't expect for it to to because some of us are in you know it's a group of uh counterparts that's on this 
type of vibration. It's another group that's on another vibration. And it's another group that's on another vibration. I get that it's three different vibrations that these spiritual counterparts could be on. And some of them that have moved and graduated and moved on into and, and out of that sp space of cloudiness. They are feeling at home in themselves. They have... They know their worth. They feel at home within themselves. They're focusing more on their careers, their family life, and, you know, most of all, God. And that judgment call that came in pushed them on in to be more of a leader and take the lead and come out of that space of heartache, heartbreak. And, you know, they're reflecting on forgiving people and letting go of everything and loving everyone unconditional and wanting everyone to make it in life and one to wish everyone good and you know if you're on that vibration of not being in a space of having no jealousy or envy or bitterness towards anyone you're probably on that third level of uh vibration where god is getting ready to use you to do something major and um i would come up out of that you know space of doubt and you know, focusing on more of what the divine masculine and, you know, the cormics are doing or whatever. I would take my focus completely off of them and pray for them and keep moving forward. Nine of swords, um, stress. Um, they have been in a place of being stressed. Some of these divine, these divine counterparts have also been in a space of stress. Or whatever that's resonating with this uh, uh, part as well. And so, you know, if you were stressing or whatever, you went back to God, you're feeling at home or whatever, and you're, you're mo more focusing on your abundance, uh, Ace of Pentacles, and abundance will come in. If you were stressing over abundance, it's going to come in in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that it do. And Action Three of Pentacles will be taking place in this uh, uh, particular part of resonation due to this particular group of counterparts. And so if you guys could all like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless and y'all have a great night, a great evening. And uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I accept all donations. My cash app, dollar signs, Charlie's Angel 75. God bless.